this course, we're going to introduce three emerging and fundamental concepts in marketing. First and foremost, how to develop and build a strong brand, a brand that resonates with customers and a brand that's going to endure. Secondly, how to identify those customers and use the data that we have on those customers to figure out who's good, who's not so good, and how we should interact with those individuals. And then thirdly, how to take a product or service to market, how to get it into the hands of the right people, and how to ensure that it reaches its full market potential. Hi, I'm Barbara Kahn, and I'm the Patty and J.H. Baker Professor of Marketing at the Wharton School, and I'm also the director of the J.H. Baker Retailing Center. And I'm here to talk to you about brand, how to build an experiential brand that your customers will love and that they will want to purchase better than any other of your competitors' brands. And I'm Pete Fader, the Francis and Paywan Cha Professor of Marketing and co-director of the Wharton Customer Analytics Initiative. And while branding is critical for any firm, it's not the only focus they should have. Of course, the other focus would be the customer, or more specifically, the customers. Who are the really valuable ones? How do they differ from the less valuable ones? How do we acquire more customers like them? These are some of the questions that we associate with the idea of customer centricity, a new emerging business strategy that contrasts with product centricity. We're going to explore that contrast. We're going to better understand what customer centricity really is and how firms can potentially leverage it to make more money than they would with a product-centric strategy. And so while these strategies are really important, ultimately we have to bring it to market, and that's what David's going to talk about. Thanks, Pete. I'm David Bell. I'm the Jim Mei Zhang and Yongge Dai professor here at the Wharton School, and I'm going to focus on go-to-market, how we reach customers where they live in the real world and also the way they inhabit the virtual world, how we understand who the lead users are, the people who are going to spread positive word of mouth about us and get the message out to their friends. And then thirdly, how we develop a message that's compelling, one that really resonates with these customers and one that's enduring, using all the tools and techniques that are now available to us. We hope you'll join us and you'll see that while we won't always agree on everything, we promise to always bring you state-of-the-art thinking and marketing.